Continuing coverage now on this weekend's assassination attempt. News Channel 3's Luis Avila live in studio with a look at the potential implications here after talking with a local historian. Luis. Hi, John. The question today is whether former President Trump's recent assassination attempt will affect his ability to win. Some say he could activate his base and gain sympathy, but others say it's still too early to know. Looking at how this affects the election is that democracy was basically put in peril on Saturday, regardless of your choice of, of presidential candidate, whether you agree with them, their, them or not. A stark revelation from College of the Desert professor Wesley Wilson. He adds Saturday's assassination attempt of former President Trump could have been a repeat of Lincoln and Kennedy's assassinations, which the country was left vulnerable. And change perhaps the global position of the United States, because there are countries around the world who historically watch the United States. They watch our political system. They watch what we do, how we act, how we behave. But the effects of this near miss are being felt elsewhere and are being intensified by social media. Obviously, conspiracy theories are rising up in regards to the, this attempt um, and so on and so forth. So I think social media is powering that a lot and making that move a lot quicker than it did, say, in 1963 uh, with the Kennedy assassination. This kind of rhetoric could continue to sow more divisions between the two parties. But according to Wilson, there could also be a possible silver lining. President Biden is removing about $50 million in negative advertising uh, that was planned for this week during the Republican convention. Uh, former President Trump is changing his speech completely for, for Thursday night. I think that, that the election has shifted, hopefully in a more positive direction. Time will tell. And something else that time will tell, the impact on the election itself. However, it's yet to be seen how this will affect the election one way or the other, considering the unprecedented nature of the two candidates who are running. And Wilson also tells me we should continue to have healthy political discourse as it is vital for a functioning democracy. Live in studio, Luis Avila, News Channel 3.